I've been unemployed now for the last year, which has made it really difficult because the longer I'm unemployed for, the harder it gets, I think. 20-year-old Tanya Sturgis lives in Adelaide. Like an increasing number of young Australians, her working life has been a string of casual and part-time jobs. So I've worked in tapas bars, I've worked in retail, um, I've worked in chemists, I've done chicken shops, bakeries, sandwich making. I started off at Coles as a checkout person and I really enjoyed it. But I think I want more of a career now that I'm getting a lot older. So I want to get into something where it's going to be long term, not short term. That's where it's difficult because I want full time work, not casual. I think you have to always start to the bottom. Just like her mother Christine, Tanya left school in year 10. Christine, you finished school in year 10, yep. like Tanya, but it wasn't hard for you to find an opportunity. No, because you didn't have to have computer skills or um, the things that these kids need to have. We just, they just took you on face value. So you just, if you had what they were looking for, they gave you a chance. Are you concerned for Tanya's future and the and the future of work for someone of her age? <clears throat> Absolutely. Like, what future do our kids have if everything's going to be run by technology? Like, yeah, I'm just really concerned. Like, I have a younger daughter too. Like, what future will she have? If Tanya can't get back into the workforce, what future do our rest of our children have? South Australia has been hit hard by the decline in manufacturing and has the highest unemployment in the country. Hi Tanya. Hello, how are you? Good to see you. Good, you too. Come on through. The suburbs around Adelaide are among the worst places for young people looking for work. And how have you been going this week? Good, good. I've been applying for a lot more jobs than usual. And have you found that there's lots of jobs out there for you to apply for? No, not at the moment. Um, Staff at the Youth Services Network Reengage are helping Tanya to find a career. There's people that actually listen. With the advancement in technologies, many of the entry level jobs that traditionally went to young people are diminishing. If you're young and unemployed in South Australia, it's tough and it's definitely getting tougher. And I know compared to when I was looking for a job and finishing in high school, there were jobs available in retail and hospitality that you didn't even need qualifications for. Now there's an expectation that you're not only qualified, that you're experienced. So for young people like Tanya, it's really challenging and it's really disheartening. In years gone by, we have expected young people just to be able to leave school and walk into a job and then find their way in a career path. In this modern economy, uh, that's not the case. So it's an important point that the transition from school to work has become much more problematic for young people than it has been in decades gone by.